Hi, this is Farzana Khatun and today we are going to learn about nitrogen cycle. Before going to the nitrogen cycle, let's have a brief knowledge about nitrogen. What is nitrogen? Nitrogen is a colorless, odorless, covalently triple bonded element. It forms about 78% of Earth's atmosphere. Liquid nitrogen is used as coolant. It is also used in cryopreservation of blood and reproductive cells. Why is nitrogen important to human beings? Nitrogen is an important part of our bodies like amino acid contain nitrogen and these are building blocks that make up proteins in hair, muscles, skin, nucleic acid and ATP etc. The human body contains about 3% of nitrogen by mass and we get it in the form of protein. What is nitrogen cycle? Plants and animals can't absorb nitrogen from atmosphere while it is plenty in the air. They need different ways to access it. The process that can help nitrogen out of the air into the living organisms is the biogeochemical cycles by which nitrogen is converted into multiple chemical forms as it circulates among atmosphere, terrestrial and marine ecosystem. Stages of Nitrogen Cycle Nitrogen Fixation, Nitrification, Assimilation, Ammonification and Denitrification What is Nitrogen Fixation? This process involves in conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia and subsequently it may be converted to water-soluble nitrites or nitrates. It can be of three types, biological, natural or atmospheric and industrial. Biological, this is carried out by different free-living bacteria like Clostridium and Azotobacter. Cyanobacteria or blue green algae like Nostoc and Anabina, symbiotic bacteria like non leguminous Francia with Alnus and leguminous, the bacteria Rhizobium, which is present in the nodule of the leguminous plants like peas and pulses, the enzyme nitrogenase, which is capable of nitrogen reduction, is present exclusively in prokaryotes. These nitrogenases are destroyed in presence of oxygen. Natural or atmospheric Nitrogen in pure form cannot be solubilized in water but it is converted to oxides due to lightning flash which comes down to soil with the rain or snow. Industrial or you can say artificial The industrial production of ammonia is by mixing of nitrogen and hydrogen but it requires high temperature and pressure an iron catalyst which removes oxygen from the environment like in fertilizer factories nitrification the conversion of ammonium to nitrate is performed by soil living bacteria and other nitrifying bacteria the process occurs in two steps the first step is carried out by nitrosomonas ammonia in presence of oxygen converted into nitrite the second step is carried out by nitrobacter the nitrite in presence of oxygen converted into nitrate assimilation it is a process in which organic nitrogen is transferred into animals body when the plants are eaten up by animals Ammonification The process which involves in the conversion of complex organic nitrogenous compound present in the dead bodies of plants and animals into ammonium ion. It is carried out by bacteria which is present in the soil like Bacillus ramosus. This process is also called mineralization. Difference between nitrogen fixation and ammonification. In nitrogen fixation, we are making ammonia from free nitrogen which is present in the atmosphere, while in ammonification, we make ammonia from the dead bodies of plants and animals. So, this is the major difference between nitrogen fixation and ammonification. Denitrification 
the process involves reduction of soil nitrate to nitrogen gas by denitrifying bacteria like pseudomonas, clostridium, thiobacillus, etc. We are going to have a look on nitrogen cycle in a nutshell. Nitrogen in the atmosphere falls to the earth by precipitation such as rain or snow. Once in the soil, it finds its way to bacteria on the roots nodule of the plants. At the roots, the nitrogen is combined with hydrogen to make ammonia in a process called nitrogen fixation. Lightning in atmosphere can also do this work. Now, ammonia is toxic, so additional bacteria combines with this ammonia with oxygen in a process called nitrification. At this point, the nitrogen is in a form called nitrite. Additional nitrifying bacteria converts this nitrite to nitrate. At this point, plant can observe this nitrogen in a process called assimilation. However, not all the nitrate is absorbed, but some of it goes to the bacteria that release the nitrogen to the atmosphere in a process called denitrifying. The nitrogen returns to the atmosphere also animals have to eat the plants. The animal either dies or needs to give little waste. Another type of bacteria then take this along with the decomposers and break this nitrogen either in the waste or dead animal. By the process called ammonification, nitrogen can enter the cycle once again and the cycle continues. Thanks for watching.